let's talk about Lightroom's lens correction settings. You can follow along by downloading the raw file from the link in the description. Keep in mind I already worked on this shot a bit, so the raw file will look a bit different to you. Now go ahead and expand the lens correction panel. These settings right here are used to fix things like chromatic aberration, lens distortion and vignetting. We can do those things either under the profiles menu, which makes use of different lens profiles, or we can do it manually. Keep in mind, different lenses need different lens corrections. There is no general fix for every lens, as one might distort the image more than the others. Luckily for us, most of the times applying the automatic settings through the profiles menu is sufficient enough when working with landscape photography. And this image is a great example. First, let's fix the chromatic aberration. If you're new to photography, this term might be unfamiliar to you. To make the chromatic aberration visible, we need to zoom in and take a closer look around edges in the picture. Right here you can see red and blue colored edges. This is what we call chromatic aberration. Now at first this will not seem that dramatic to you, as this is only visible when zoomed in. But depending on the lens there are different levels of chromatic aberration and of course if you want to achieve high image quality, this is something we need to fix. The good news is Lightroom is pretty good at fixing this automatically. We simply need to activate this checkbox. And just like that the chromatic aberration is gone. In more extreme cases we might have to fix this manually, but more on that later. Next we have the profile corrections. Activating this checkbox Adobe applies a profile depending on the used lens to fix the distortion of it. Just below you can see the lens Adobe chooses from the drop down menus. For me so far it never got it wrong, but if that's the case for you, you can set up the profiles manually going through brand, lens model and profile yourself. If you're using an adapter between the lens and the camera, Lightroom might have problems detecting the used lens. In that case you have to choose the brand manually and the rest will be set up automatically by Lightroom. For me personally I don't always enable the profile corrections since it's not always improving the image. So do whatever looks best to you here. Once the profile corrections are activated you can also adjust the vignetting and distortion sliders at the bottom. Again I'm not using these very often, but there are weird lenses out there where it makes sense to do some finer adjustments here. I suggest just play around and always pay close attention to the horizon to keep it in a straight line. One thing that's cool about this distortion slider is, no matter in which direction I will be pushing it, there are no gaps created by Lightroom. You will see what I mean by this in just a minute. Let's switch over to the manual settings. At the top we do have another distortion slider. While the one previously in the profiles tab worked non-destructively, this distortion slider actually produces gaps towards the border of the image when increasing the amount. You can fill those gaps by using something like content aware fill in Photoshop or you could let Lightroom automatically crop the image by activating the constraint crop setting below. I'm not really a big fan of cropping it this hard, so I'm just undoing this change. Then we have a bunch of defringe settings. These are used to manually remove chromatic aberrations, in case Lightroom's automatic tool isn't probably fixing it. So for the sake of this video let me go back and deactivate remove chromatic aberration. Let's try to fix it manually. First again of course we need to zoom in. What we have here is basically two sliders for two different colors. We have the purple hue and the green hue. Now let us increase the amount of the purple hue. As I bring up the slider you can see not much is happening with the chromatic aberration. That's because we have to set the color range up to target the right color. On the one hand we have a very strong red chromatic aberration. So we want to adjust the purple hue to target that color range. As we bring up the pin to the right, you can see the red chromatic aberration disappearing. 
However, we are still left with a few blue edges. To fix that, I can simply bring the pin on the left further down. And just like that, the chromatic aberration is gone. Of course, if the color along the edges is leaning more towards yellow or green, you want to use the sliders below to fix that. Now you might have already spotted the eyedrop icon to the left. This one can be used to specifically target the colored edges. So let me reset those manual settings real quick by double clicking the pins and click on that eyedrop icon. You can already see it specifically tells you to target purple and green fringe colors for corrections. So for this particular image, it's not very helpful. You can see if I try to target the red chromatic aberration and click on it, you will get the message to target purple or green. So in that case, I would be choosing somewhere around here, but of course it doesn't fix everything. So that, that's highly dependent on the color of the chromatic aberration and not useful in this case. And finally, we have another vignetting slider at the bottom. Besides the amount of vignetting, however, you can also set its midpoint and thus make it cover more or less of the image. Again, personally, I prefer other ways of working with vignetting. But for creative effects or fixing problems, this of course is a viable way of doing it. So that was a very brief masterclass on Lightroom's lens correction settings. The next upcoming masterclass will be all about transformation and fixing vertical or horizontal lines. So if you want to be updated, make sure to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching this video.